Welcome back to Strength Coach Tutorials. Um, this is going to be episode eight, and for this tutorial, we're going to do an annual planner load graph, or commonly referred to as a YTP um, yearly training plan load graph. And you're going to see this cool effect using conditional formatting. So the first thing we're going to do is we have our microcycle box up here, and then down the side we have um, different loading parameters, very hard, hard, moderately hard, moderate, or deload. And we're going to create a little graph that automatically updates as we select how heavy we want the week to be. So what we're going to do is in the microcycle selection box, you want to highlight all those cells. And we're going to create a drop-down menu. We should be pretty good at these by now, so we'll go to data, data validation, okay, and we're going to make a list and the list is going to be the values down here in the left corner. So VH, H, MH, M, or D. And those are going to correspond to our load graph. So we're going to type VH, comma, H, comma, MH, comma, M, and D. And if we hit OK, we should now have a selectable box in which we can type in the different values. Different values. So then after we've done that, now the magic happens with conditional formatting. We're going to color those according to the selection that we make. So we're going to select all the boxes that we want to make or that we want to color. Go home, hit conditional formatting, and then new rule. We're going to use the ones that say um, format cells that contain, select text, specific text, and then we'll do VH first. So we type VH in the containing box and format and we're going to make those red. Okay. Okay. And so every time we select VH now, it should turn out red. So that works. So we're going to format cells that contain H. Um, conditional formatting. Um, new rule. Format cells that contain specific text. H. And we're going to put beginning with because we want it to be the first value in the cell. Then we're going to make it orange. Okay. So now the H's. We'll do it again for the rest of the values. Conditional formatting. New rule. Cells that contain specific text. Containing MH format. And the MH is going to be yellow. Okay. Okay. We've got two more to do. Conditional formatting. New rule. Cells that contain specific text ending with M. Be careful on the ones that only have one letter because they can get mixed up with some of the other values there. This one's going to be green. Okay. Okay. And then finally, conditional formatting, manage rules, new rule, cells that contain cell value, specific text, and then containing D. And the D is a blue color. Okay. Okay, apply. So now you can see we should be able to select any value and the cells will automatically update to the color of that value. Now we're going to use this box here to workload to create a graph that uploads with that value. What we'll do is we'll select the first row here, conditional formatting, new rule, use a formula to determine which cells, and then we'll go this cell equals bracket VH bracket and we'll take away the dollar sign in front of the D so that we can drag this and then we're going to make it red if it does equal that so okay so you can see all of those become red we should be able to drag this across and all of the ones that have a VH will now turn red and now we only want it to go up to the hard if we use the orange. So we'll create another rule here. Conditional formatting, new rule. Use a formula. And we'll put this cell equals H. And we want that to color orange if it does. Okay. Okay. So now if we make it orange, we should get an orange. And we'll drag that across. And what did we do wrong? We forgot to take the D reference away. So we have to take the dollar sign away. Okay. Apply. 
So now if we drag that across all of the cells that are H, finally, we're going to finish off with a few more rules here. New rule, use a formula. This equals MH bracket, make it yellow. Okay. Take away the dollar sign. Now if we make it an MH, we should be able to drag that across. Good, and all the MHs. Now turn that way. We got two more to do. Format, new rule. Use a formula equals this value. Take away the dollar sign equals bracket. We want it to be M. We'll make it green. Okay, okay, so now if we make it green, should be able to drag that one across now. We've got one last one to do, and that's the deload. So new rule, use a formula, equals this cell, take away the dollar sign, equals bracket D bracket, and we'll make it that blue color that we chose before. Okay, okay. So now if we make it a D, should equal that. Okay, so we can drag that across. We'll just fix the formatting here, and I'll take away the inside borders. So no inside borders, and then thick outside border around the whole thing. So now you can see we should be able to create a little bit of a graph here if we wanted. So we can make different weeks, and you can see how this starts to look um, when you string a bunch of them together. It creates a nice little effect of your graph here so you can plan your animal annual training plan so if we paste a bunch of these in order you can see how it looks all the way across when you get all your weeks kind of programmed out so there you go there's a, a nice little graph that you can create um, thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe to the channel.